Hey, this is Greg. Today we're going to be talking about expiration dates. Do expiration dates really lie? Well, in order to do it right, you know I try to give you as much information as possible. We actually have to talk about the three different types of expiration dates and what they're trying to accomplish by using those dates. There are three types. There is the expiration date, which is becoming less and less common. There's the best if used by date, and then there's the sell by date. Sell by dates are only on those things that are more perishable. Milks, breads, fruits, things of that nature. The expiration dates and the best if used by dates can be on really anything. Now, we're going to look at some cans that I've got here, and then we're going to discuss the methods that they use to establish those dates. Now I found it quite interesting that just a quick run through my cabinet showed uh, June 2016, um, ooh, January 2017, and then August 2017 as well. So two out of these three, which I just got out of my cabinet, are technically expired if you go strictly by the date. Now the FDA only requires an expiration date on infant formula. Now if you don't know the FDA means the Food and Drug Administration and there's a whole conversation right there could even be a rant. The rest of them are up to the manufacturer to determine what they believe an expiration date should be. And there's actually three reasons, primary reasons, that a company sets expiration dates. The first of those three reasons is liability limitations. Because technically, if you eat a product after the printed expiration date, the company's liability for the quality of that product goes down or almost is eliminated because they stated it on the product that it really shouldn't be eaten after that date. So it is a liability issue. Secondly, it is a uh, consumer opinion piece. A honest company is going to try to set it when the quality of the canned product is as high as possible before the quality starts dropping off so that when you open a can as long as it's before the expiration date <clears throat> the quality will still be up to an acceptable level and then the third is honestly is to get you to buy something again now most companies, you know, they would prefer that you eat it by the expiration date. They really don't make money with you buying a can and setting it on the shelf and it being there a year later. As you saw, I have some that are that way. Um, the way that these expiration dates are set is by a combination of things. It's actually, it's, it's fairly simple, but at the same time it's complex. They take a compare, uh, uh, they compare other shelf stable products that are similar and then they try to determine the shelf life of the product so they'll go okay well we're going to make this kind of soup and we're going to test it in a year and see what the quality is and then they'll do that so it's it's really kind of a research and development team it's a quality assurance team it's not some psychic that's sitting there determining when this product is no longer any good. And there's a lot of contributing factors as to the quality of that food inside that can. If a can's kept inside uh, and it's not exposed to extreme heat or cold, then the quality will be extended. If it's uh, subjected to the elements, if it's out there and it, the can gets rusty or dinged up or dented or whatever, then, then the uh, quality expectation can considerably go down. Now, there is a uh, video game franchise out there called Fallout. It's actually one of the few games that I 
really care anything about at all because I like the concept. It's a post-apocalyptic world. And in this, they show the, uh, the people eating 200-year-old canned food. Is that possible? Yes. It doesn't show them picking up this canned food out in the middle of the desert. Well, sometimes it does. But most of the time it shows them picking up these canned foods in old stores and things like that where it would have been kept inside and, and wouldn't have been exposed to the elements and all like that. When dealing with canned food, first you need to rotate your stock. But second, do you really have to pay attention to the expiration dates? Oh, heck no. You can actually get C rations or K rations from the Korean War and they are still edible. Is their quality going to be as high as it was when it was first released? No, it's not. But it's still going to fill your tummy. It's still going to have some nutritional benefits. Because you got to realize that everything that's commercially canned is done at high pressure and high temperature. So that's going to do away normally with, uh, you know, your botulism and all of those things. Now, lately, we've been seeing a rash of things being recalled. It's normally completely cooked products, normally frozen products, due to listeria, I think, is the last one that we've seen. So you still kind of have to, uh, you have to be vigilant. But the expiration date on that can... As long as you take care of that can, it doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Now, prescription drugs are similar, but there's somebody that's a lot more qualified to discuss that than me, and I'm going to put a link to their video on it right up there. Um, but when you're storing food, rotate your stock. Use the oldest first, but don't get overly concerned if you're a month or two past the expiration date. I showed you one just then where the expiration date was over a year ago and it didn't bother, bother me at all. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was educational and uh, I hope it helped you out. Step by step, we're bringing rule back. Bye-bye.